Praise the Lord. Good evening, everyone. It's a joy to be with you another Wednesday night for our Bible study. Praise God. We have had a wonderful journey in the past couple of weeks talking about um, the need to rebuild, repair, and rebrand. And then last week, we talked about the plan. And this week, we're going to talk about the work that is needed for repair, rebuild, and rebrand. We want to encourage you this time to go ahead and get your Bibles, your notepad, and let's delve into the Word of Almighty God. We encourage you this moment to go ahead, those of you who are on YouTube or Facebook, to share this broadcast with someone. Welcome, Progress Church, at home in the Zoom room. We want to encourage you to stick around in the Zoom room at the end for time of discussion, asking questions, and clarity as we go to the Word this evening. Well, let's go before the Lord in prayer at this time. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We want to bless you. We lift you up. We exalt you on high. We pray as we get into the Word that you'll just speak to our hearts. Give us ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. We pray, Father, this evening as we um, on uh, we break the word. Let it be life to us. We give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Well, I want to take the opportunity this evening to welcome on the broadcast tonight here on the Bible study platform, Elder Angela um, Scarlett. Welcome again. Thank you for having me again, Pastor. Amen. And Elder Prudence Harris, welcome. Thank you so much for having me, Apostle. It's good to be here. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, we have we have a, a big study tonight <laughs> talking about the work of repair, rebuild, and rebrand. Mm -hmm. So if you buy, have your Bibles, let's go to the book of Nehemiah chapter 3. Nehemiah chapter 3, and this is the chapter that we'll be dealing with tonight. And this chapter speaks of the rebuilding of the wall and as to how they had to rebuild the wall who were assigned different areas and that's where we want to what we want to look at this evening in verse 1 it tells us in Nehemiah it said then Eliashib the high priest rose up with his brethren the priests and built the sheep gates they consecrated and hung it doors they built as far as the tower of 1200 and consecrated consecrated it, then as far as the Tower of Hanel. So here we see that Elisha built the wall um, with his brethren. Notice that even the high priest joined <clears throat> the task. Mm -hmm. He is the first one mentioned here in this chapter, and I believe this is significant. Mm -hmm. It shows that Nehemiah thought his example was important. Imagine how difficult it would have been for Nehemiah to rally the people to build a wall if the high priest did not participate or support the work. Mm -hmm. So the high priest had to set a good example mm -hmm. in the work of, of the Lord. Um, they, we always need to set a good example. That's right. So talk a little about setting a good example as leaders especially. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know, as um, leaders and I make sure that I put myself in that position that when I'm speaking, I'm speaking to myself, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leaders must lead not only by preaching the word or saying the word, but you've got to lead by action. Action. Mm -hmm. Okay? And when you look at um, Eliashab, Eliashab, you know, he was in front leading. Yeah. The first person that was there, he was out in front leading yeah. by example. Yeah. He did not. He didn't think himself too mighty. Too important. Yeah. That's he didn't true. think himself too important. He didn't think himself too spiritual. Mm -hmm. And to say, you know what, yeah. I am the priest, so I can't be down there getting my yeah. priestly robe yeah. messed up with yeah. maybe dust from rebuilding the yeah. wall and everything like that. No, he probably lifted up. Yeah. Get down there. Get into the That's hard right. work. Mm -hmm. because you know what it takes work in rebuilding process yes. and as a leader we got to lead and set the example because many times um, leaders will send proxies mm -hmm. in, in yes. anyway send somebody mm -hmm. to you know That's right. um, mm -hmm. I cannot be involved you know yes. this is beneath me I'll send somebody mm -hmm. um, in my place but he did not do that no. mm -hmm. he, he himself get into the work right. and, right. and, and he, yeah. he realized he needed to dock in himself mm -hmm. um, it was hard work I can imagine mm -hmm. right. it was hard work yeah. and it was not glamorous no. No. Work because many times some leaders, if it's not glamorous, if the cameras yes. are not on, yes. if the spotlight is not on, they do That's not right. want to be no. involved. But Elisha was willing That's for his right. hands to be dirty, mm -hmm. yes. amen, to That's do the work. Right. Yes, yes. And he, he considered the work was not beneath, beneath him, him. Mm -hmm. yeah. beneath yeah. him, because sometimes, um, um, 
leaders think, well, um, this is beneath me to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. Um, no matter what we do, especially if we're doing the work of the Lord, yeah. nothing is too small That's right. or beneath us. All of us have to put our hands to work because yeah. it's advancing the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And I like how uh, Elisa have mm. um, led by example. Yeah. In order to get others to work, and mm -hmm. in, they are looking to you as a leader to yeah. see, are you going to get involved? Are you going to dictate to me? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to get in here with us and do the work? for us to um, be, make that vision become yeah. a reality. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have others saying, I'm not going to do it because you're not doing it. That's right. You yeah. want to lead by example. And to be that effective leader, you have to lead by ex example. So leading by example, especially for us as leaders, is absolutely important. Mm -hmm. um, the word of the Lord also tells us to whom much is given, mm -hmm. much, much is, is required. required. Yes. So we need to put our hands mm -hmm. to the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And do our part. Mm -hmm. And we do a part of a good attitude. Yes. yes. Good yes. attitude. That's mm -hmm. the that's the key. Yes. Now, if we go down go down to verse five, it said, "Next to them, the Tikoites made repairs, but their nobles did not put their shoulder mm -hmm. to the work of the Lord." Mm -hmm. So, so, so we we understand in leadership, recognize I need to lead by example, need to be involved in the work. But we also see in this chapter, mm -hmm. not everybody get involved in the right. work. That's there were right. those who did not, not. involve mm -hmm. in themselves. Mm -hmm. He said, not everyone supported the work. Some nobles mm -hmm. of the Tikoites did not support it. Mm -hmm. uh, note that they did not stop the Tico, that did not stop the Tikoites themselves from building. Mm -hmm. And so while it's important as leaders, we need to lead by example, mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it's very important. Mm -hmm. But people also have to realize, even if your leaders and your nobles do not do the work, you should not stop. Because yes. we cannot say, God, well, I didn't get involved because I didn't see mm -hmm. Pastor Lovelace doing this. Right. I didn't see an elder doing this, mm -hmm. so I didn't involve. Well, we That's have right. to be mm -hmm. involved in the work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not everyone will always be on board with mm -hmm. the vision. Not yeah. everyone is going to get involved and do the work. Mm -hmm. But no matter what, That's right. don't abandon the, the, mm -hmm. the, the mission. Yeah. Continue working. Because you'll have naysayers. Yeah. You know, you're always going to have opposition. Yeah. But the point is, mm -hmm. especially if God gives you that vision, he says, make the vision, write it, make yeah. it plain and run with it. Because no matter what, it's God's vision. And you want to make sure that work is completed according to God's will. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have the spectators and the ones who are going to be laughing at you, mm -hmm. but continue the work of God because it really is important for you to follow through what God has said to you said for you to yes. do. That's yeah. right, that's right. And when you look at it, and you know, even just looking at those um, nobles or the leaders mm -hmm. who did not want to get involved oh, yeah. because they think the mm -hmm. work was beneath them, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? But when you look at it, even in supporting, not everyone is going to support the vision. That's mm -hmm. right. That's not right. everyone. And we're not going to mm -hmm. kid ourselves and think that everybody is going to be in support. If we see the example right here in Limaya, yeah. we see mm -hmm. it right here in the House mm -hmm. of Progress. Yeah. But not yeah. everybody will support, support. the vision. Yeah. But in this season, as I said, in the season of rebuilding, yeah. Repair. We're going to face the fact. Mm -hmm. Not everybody That's is right. going to be supportive. But you know what we can do? Some people are just going to sit on the sideline. Yeah. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. people are just going to wait for others to, to, mm -hmm. to pick up the slack and to That's say, right. let's, let, mm -hmm. let others do the work. I'm, I will just sit here and watch what they are doing. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? But you can always, as I said, you can preach a message of encouragement, yeah. a message that will mm -hmm. stir their heart. Mm -hmm. But as you said, even with all that, there's yeah. some people will not That's move. Right. Mm -hmm. But yes. all you can do, yeah. you pray and you leave it and That's you move right. forward and you continue to know what God can do. All you can do is pray and move yeah. on. Continue yeah. leading by yeah. example. Yeah. Continue and the key is let's do do the work of the Lord because we know it's the right thing to do. That's right. right. It's the right thing for us mm -hmm. to do because God is our final authority. Yes, yes. yes. Always remember this. Mm -hmm. God is our final authority. Mm -hmm. He has given us something to do. Let us do it no matter mm -hmm. of who support it and mm -hmm. who does yes, not yes. support it. Mm -hmm. We yes. got to do what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> we see Elisha be led by example. Mm -hmm. As leaders, we are called mm -hmm. to lead by example. We see even the, at times when leaders and those who are of, of worthy position yes. don't get involved, mm -hmm. do not allow that to stop you. That's right. That's right. But let's be involved in the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to verse 8. Let's go down to verse 8. It said, next to him, Uzel, the son of Harahiah, 
uh, one of the goldsmith made repairs. Also next to him, Hananiah, one of the perfumers made repairs. Mm -hmm. And they fortified Jerusalem as far as the broad wall. Mm -hmm. So if you notice goldsmiths and perfumers, mm -hmm. they, they work. Now, now, when I begin to look at when the scriptures talks about perfumers, mm -hmm. it's our modern day, uh, um, the health yes. and beauty sector of the economy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So if you're trying to build a wall, are you going to ask somebody who is involved in, 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 in um, beauty supplies, health and beauty, yeah. perfumers, yeah. you know, um, right. the estheticians, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, those mm -hmm. who work on, on different, you know, mm -hmm. massage parlors, mm -hmm. those things. You're not going to yeah. go to these folks, right? Yeah, that's right. You know, so they, these are folks who design sweet smell and perfume for weddings, mm -hmm. rich people, or religious ceremonies. Mm -hmm. So we could say there's a good chance their hands were soft. Right. <laughs> right? So, yes. mm -hmm. they, they were used to gentle work. Mm -hmm. But here they are outside of their comfort zone mm -hmm. building the wall. Mm -hmm. This tells us we should not refuse to do the work of the Lord with the excuse that is not my gifting. That's yes. right. Because so many people use that excuse. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. yes. I've heard it over and over <laughs> yeah. again. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And when I look at these men, as I look at it, it says, these were men of, these are perfumers. They yeah. were men of a different profession. Yeah. They were not professional builders. Mm -hmm. They were not trained for this kind yes. of work. Mm -hmm. Right? It would be easy for them to make the excuses Excuse, yeah. and say, yep, yeah, it's not my gifting, you yeah. know what I mean? But you know what they did? They jumped in yeah. mm -hmm. and they did the, the work. work. Yeah. Yes. They fortified Jerusalem, yeah. right? Yeah. Even though others would think that they are not qualified right. to do it. That's right. <laughs> but you know what I heard one preacher said before? But we thank God yeah. that he says, God did not call the qualified, qualified. Mm -hmm. yes. but he qualified, qualified the, the call. call. Yes, yes. yes. That's right. Amazing, right? Amazing. So right. these perfumers, they were not qualified to be building out the wall. They're not mm -hmm. qualified, but you know what I mean? They made themselves mm -hmm. available, the availability. Yes. That was the, and that's what God wants from us, yeah. yes. availability. Yeah. And God says, when you make yourself available, yeah. I will qualify yeah. you to do the work. That's you right. may not be qualified. I may not be, you know, maybe qualified to say I'm going to be, you know, singing or maybe doing whatever it is. Yeah. I'm a dance or whatever. I may not be doing, but yeah. God says, when you make yourself available, I will qualify you That's for right. because I qualify. Amen. Yeah. I agree with you. And no matter what, um, God will always equip you to do the work. Mm -hmm. We come with different talents in um, Ephesians 4, he talked about, he gave some apostles, teachers, mm -hmm. preachers, mm -hmm. yeah. evangelists, mm -hmm. you know. So God will equip anyone mm -hmm. who is available. That's mm -hmm. right. Just make sure that your heart is ready and mm -hmm. God will give you the talent, the skills, and the equipment mm -hmm. so you can do the work that That's he's true. called you to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I think for many of us, we truly never know. Um, the depths of our gifting until we get our hands into the work yes. of the Lord. Anyhow, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, we, 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 we just sense that, you know, God work need to be done mm -hmm. and we delve in and we put our hands to the task mm -hmm. and then we see God work it out. Mm -hmm. And as we keep it in the work of the Lord, we begin to see we are truly called to do this type of work. Mm -hmm. right. So we encourage you um, tonight to be involved in the work of the Lord mm -hmm. because in order for us to repair, rebuild, and rebrand, we need to do the work. Mm -hmm. And God wants to use you to do the work today. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. We should right. not refuse to do the work. And there are certain things that God wants every believer to do. Right. Sharing the gospel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. discipling other believers, mm -hmm. worshiping God, serving in the church ministries, walking in fellowship mm -hmm. even as we as a, as a congregation mm -hmm. each one of us can involve in the pillars of the church Absolutely. evangelizing the lost right. discipling every believer mm -hmm. you know um, equipping lead, um, others that's for right. ministry right. fellowship in unity mm -hmm. and, and celebrating god and worship yes. we can all involve that's in right. doing the work mm -hmm. we may not be good as others mm -hmm. but we still need to do it are you hearing me right. don't yes. measure yourself by others measure by what god has given you that's and right. are you doing Doing it to the best right. of the ability God mm -hmm. has placed you. Don't disqualify yourself. Amen. Don't compare, don't compare God may want yourself. you to do something way outside of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. but you still need to do it. Mm -hmm. These yes. perfumers, I believe they were way outside of yes. their com comfort zone, mm -hmm. you know, but anyhow, they still did 
the work. Yes. Now, look, look at verse um, 12. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. It says, And next to him was uh, Shalom, the son of Horesh, mm -hmm. um, leader of half of the district of Jerusalem. He and his daughters made repairs. Mm -hmm. Made repairs. Mm -hmm. You know, it was important, even as you ladies are joining me on the platform yes. um, tonight. Mm -hmm. Yes. We, we we need we need the ladies. We need women. We need, we we need, need the women to carry the work. <laughs> yeah, we need the ladies, ladies to be involved yes. mm -hmm. in the work. Yeah, we see that some of the women got involved in mm -hmm. building the wall. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a task, and yes. everyone can help. Oh, you know, right. mm -hmm. as 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 one of the leaders here in the church, we need um, women like you. Yes, Talk a little about that. Um, we're not looking at about we're not looking at the physical strength but we all have giftings yeah. skills that we can come and um, add to mm -hmm. the vision mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the church mm -hmm. god will equip anyone and i as i said just earlier i said don't disqualify yourself because you think you're a woman mm -hmm. i remember when we were building this sanctuary yeah. women were very very involved we were yeah. a vital part mm -hmm. of the completion yeah. of this place that mm -hmm. god has given us mm -hmm. we, we did not we, say we, we saw someone with hard hearts and oh, yeah. uh, still mm -hmm. still oh, yes. Yeah, yes, yes yes we did not say we are women we can't pay mm -hmm. we're women we can't dig but we got involved because mm -hmm. we bought into the vision we understand that this was a vision of God that must be fulfilled. So we mm -hmm. didn't sit back yeah. and let the men only did the work. Yeah. We got involved. That's so right. God would give us the strength and the gifting and the skills. That's right. You know, a lot of us probably didn't know how to do some construction, but we came and we got involved yeah. and God gave us the uh, the gifting and the skills, and so we got the work done Amen. along with the men. The reality for for many churches, you know, um, if we did not use the gifting of 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 the women, a lot of the work would go undone. Yes. You know. And <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? And, and and that is so true. And not to say anything about the men, but God just created women in such a unique yeah. way yeah. that we are the you know the we love to see yeah we yeah. love to see things done, and we don't like to see yeah. you know sometimes. And we know men at times that you know at times they say. That's okay. It doesn't need to be done a certain it's way, like, or it doesn't <laughs> need. It can stay on. But as women, we said, no, no, no. Yeah. We know that the work needs, needs to, be to be done. done. So we will jump in and we will get it. We will get mm -hmm. the work done. And you know what? Is so right to said that God has gifted all of us mm -hmm. to do something to something, this kingdom. Something. 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 Mm -hmm. Something. All of us. And I'm looking. At, and I'm just saying, whether you're a, you're a man, you're a woman, you're a boy, you're a girl, we're all gifted. And if we all get involved in doing the work of mm -hmm. God. We will advance this Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. We want to say thank God for our men, but thank God for our women. Yes. Yes. They, they have truly um, put their hands to the work of the mm -hmm. Lord, and they have done so with, with, with such passion and diligence. And we want to take this moment on this platform to tell the women of Progress Church, we truly appreciate Thank your you. gifting Thank and your time and Thank your you. talent that you have brought to do the work of the kingdom of mm -hmm. the Lord Amen. amongst us. Just Amen. as how we see um, in the rebuilding of the wall, the women were involved mm -hmm. in, in, in this season of repair, rebuild, and rebrand. We want to say to all of you women, mm -hmm. amen, amen, and that you are needed yes. in this endeavor yes. as a church. Amen. Now, if we go down to verse 20, verse 20, it says here, After him, Barak, the son of Zabiah, carefully repaired the other section mm -hmm. from the buttress to the door of the house of Eliashib, the high priest. Mm -hmm. So here we see that, um, and, and the, we, so we have asked ourselves some questions when special mention is made mm -hmm. in scripture. Mm -hmm. We know something special about Barak here. Mm -hmm. Whereas Nehemiah lists every person and say that they repaired their section of the wall. He said the, um, Barak zealously re or yeah. carefully repaired his assigned section. So there's something um, Nehemiah is trying to tell mm -hmm. us here. Mm -hmm. Clearly, Barak diligence made an impression upon him. Mm -hmm. Everyone was working, but mm -hmm. Barak stood out. Yes. Mm -hmm. He stood out. Yeah. And there is a place 
for us to do the work of the Lord with excellence. Mm -hmm. There is a place for us to serve mm -hmm. in the kingdom of God if a certain way. Mm -hmm. How can we encourage people to work with excellence in the kingdom? Um, one of the things I, I always think of, you're doing it unto God. You're yeah. not doing it unto yourself mm. or for right. others. Mm -hmm. So when we take on the work of God, we should do it with energy, motivation, passion, mm -hmm. knowing that it will be pleasing unto God. God. Mm -hmm. We see here Barak, he did it zealously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means he put his heart into it. Yeah. He right. worked with much energy. Mm. He um, stood out. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, mm -hmm. because he he took it personally and said, I'm going to do this for God. Yeah. Yes. So this is what we are to do when we come into the kingdom of God. We are to put our hearts into it. We have to do it with passion and zeal mm -hmm. and excitement, yeah. knowing that it's pleasing unto God. Yes, yes. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I believe that um, how we work can um, inspire others. Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And just looking at uh, Barack, and I'm saying, okay, he probably looking out at the wall, mm -hmm. see that the wall was broken down, mm -hmm. right? And I'm saying to myself, he probably just become at a place and he just becomes so righteously angry at mm -hmm. that situation and says, where is our defense? We live yes. in that wall right yes. here. Mm -hmm. Here's the wall broken down. Here mm -hmm. it is in rubbles, right? Yeah. So he became so righteously angry at that mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. And because of that righteous yeah. anger, he put that righteous anger into mm -hmm. zeal yeah. for Passion. God and to attending unto the work of the Lord. Yes. So here's what we can learn from that. When we are in the house of God, whether we are in the house, in our homes, or we're going out into the community, into the marketplace, yeah. right? We should not be pleased or comfortable or be at ease in Zion when things are falling apart or when it's not at, at the level we know that God yeah. desired for it, for, our, for it to be. Yeah. We should become righteously angry. And yeah. when we become righteously angry, then you know what? Then we're going to get up with that zeal, with that passion. Yeah. We're going to get involved and we're going to get involved into the world. Yes, Amen. praise Amen. God. Uh, and the question you could ask yourself, yeah. what can I do to, yeah. to advance the, the kingdom, kingdom Amen. of Amen. What can I do so that I can be righteous? Mm -hmm. Look around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us become yeah. righteous and righteous yes. God yeah. to yes. advance the kingdom yeah. of God. Amen. So, so we see um, there is that disposition of, you know what, I, um, this is happening. I just I don't like what I'm seeing, so mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna be involved. I'm gonna mm -hmm. get it done. The yeah. walls are breaking down. I'm yeah, righteously yes. angry, as yeah. Elder Person said, "Do the work." But it's also even this countenance, that yes. smile. Yes. It's probably whistling as you do yes. doing the work. He you know, there's a yes. there, he's doing it with such mm -hmm. joy, mm -hmm. such joy. You know, talk yes. a little about joy in the work of the Lord. I mean, testify, sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, nothing is much more fulfilling. Mm -hmm than when you do something for God and you know it was pleasing in yeah. his sight. Yeah. It gives you that inner joy that mm -hmm. no one else can explain. Uh, you can't explain it to others because you know yeah. it was pleasing unto to God. God. Mm -hmm. That joy is unspeakable as they talk about, the joy that's unspeakable. Nothing gives me mm -hmm. more joy than doing God's work in yeah. excellence mm -hmm. and knowing that I put my heart and my soul into it and God is well pleased, pleased because he will let you know he's yeah. pleased with your work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So therefore, when we do it, do it with our heart and our mm -hmm. soul, knowing that it will please God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Folks, it's, and it brings him joy. It, that's right. It's good for us to be involved in the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. But whatever you're doing, we encourage you to do it passionately, mm -hmm. yes. zealously. Yes. Rise up. Mm -hmm. Do something. Mm -hmm. And do it with joy today. Mm -hmm. yes. It's a better goal mm -hmm. to, to, to be an exceptional worker for God. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. be zealous in the task that God has mm -hmm. given you. Right. So we encourage you today to, to, to rise up in the strength and the power of Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Now go down to verse 23. Verse 23. It says, After him, Benjamin and Ashub made repairs opposite their house. After them, Azariah, the son of Messiah, or Messiah rather, the son of Ananiah, made repairs by his house. Mm -hmm. So in verse 10, verse 23, verse 28, and verse 29, mm -hmm. we see a concept here mm -hmm. that these were making repairs 
um, to the right where the house was. Mm -hmm. Many people assigned areas um, right in front of the houses to be, to, to be built. Mm -hmm. I believe Nehemiah strategically divided the labor in such, a, such, a, such an area, and there was a purpose for this, right? Mm -hmm. he, it saves travel time. Right. They take pride in the work and want the wall next mm -hmm. to the house to look good. Mm -hmm. yes. I believe that. They would also want their families to be safe, mm -hmm. so wouldn't want the wall next to their house to be the weak link, right. so, mm -hmm. to be, so to speak, where attacks mm -hmm. could come. Yes. So he recognized it's important for us to organize the work in such a way that those people would take pride in working mm -hmm. right where mm -hmm. they were. Right. The Nehemiah was organized. This chapter is not the most exciting chapter in the Bible that it shows an important point. Mm -hmm. The Bible is based on the lives of real people. It is written about real places and real events. Mm -hmm. So these people are building right in front of their house because it's real people. That's right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in doing the work of God, we must never forget it's about people. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's not um, mm -hmm. uh, just an organizational structure mm -hmm. and things we, it's involving people lives mm -hmm. how do you sense that in this time especially even as we talk about repair rebuild and rebrand and knowing it's it's what are we trying to repair is it a building no mm -hmm. what are we trying to uh, re re rebuild is a building no, no. or a brand no is the lives it's of people, people. talk That's a little about right. that oh absolutely and when you look at it i was you know just really reflecting on that mm -hmm. um, verse and I says you know we can learn a lot yeah. from this strategy that mm -hmm. was implemented yeah. when we noticed that everyone built mm -hmm. right the section yeah. in front of their homes mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and in this season as we are as I said it's a season of rebuilding yeah. repairing rebranding from us where do we gonna start rebuilding we're gonna start rebuilding our homes yeah mm -hmm. that's right we That's start right. rebuilding at home. It's a time for us in, in, in our prayer closet. Yeah. It's a time for us to connect with each other, connect with the people, yeah. right? It's mm -hmm. a time for us to stay. Mm -hmm. Don't isolate yourself right. in mm -hmm. a time like this. Mm -hmm. Because a, a lot of times like this, people just go into an isolation mm -hmm. mode, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's not a time for us to go into isolation. <clears throat> it's a time for us. Mm -hmm. The building, as we call the church, is not the four walls. That's right. That's it's right. the people yeah. that are inside of it, the people mm -hmm. that we connect yeah. with. Yeah. And that's why it's so important that we stay yeah. connected, connected with each mm -hmm. other. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's and in this season of mm -hmm. rebuilding, we don't want anyone to be left behind. No one to be left behind. We don't want anyone to a season of going, even a season of loss, as the message was being preached, not a season of loss. No one to, you know, you know, not to be victorious in their yeah. lives, right? But we want to come alongside you. And if you know what, I want to say to you at Progress at Home or whoever is watching, if you're going through this season and you feel like you're so alone or you feel like, God, what is going on? I feel discouraged and I feel like I want to give up reach out to somebody yes. yes yes because that's one of the things so we can easily do when we're going through those seasons mm. we withdraw yeah. mm -hmm. in our own little corner yeah. and at times we said nobody cares that's about right. us yes. right yeah. but you want to let you know what we care about that's you right. yes we love you yeah. we care about you we yes. want to come alongside you yeah. so let you know what you know what sometimes Yes, we'll do our very best to reach out and to connect yeah. with you. But yeah. if you find out we did not reach and connect with you, just yeah. reach out to somebody. somebody. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We are there for you. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. are there for you. And that Amen. is so it's so important mm -hmm. that we recognize the importance of these things. Because as a church family, we as we repair, rebuild, and rebrand, mm -hmm. we recognize it's not about the building, it's about people. people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we encourage you to join us on the Bible study platform. Right. Join us in prayer. Mm -hmm. yeah. All the things we do as a church this year is to read the Bible through. Right. We encourage you if you have not started to get involved. Mm -hmm. It's not too late. You mm -hmm. can you, you can you can catch up. So That's it's not right. too late. Um, and find out how can you receive the mm -hmm. the outline so you can know the areas so, for you to pray. Yeah, I'm through each day, mm -hmm. but let's be involved because these mm -hmm. are the areas. It's about people mm -hmm. that we are trying to rebuild yes. in this mm -hmm. area. Yeah. Now let's talk a little about organizational leadership because mm -hmm. what, what we see with ne Nehemiah, he was a very organized leader. Yes. Mm -hmm. He took the work seriously. When we talk about um, um, organizational leadership, um, we think about communicating the mission mm -hmm. and the vision. It's about establishing the plan. 
it's about inspiring others to accomplish the goal. Now, <clears throat> you, you serve as one of our leaders here with, at mm -hmm. Progress Church. Mm -hmm. Talk a little about um, what does it take to be an organizational leader. Right. One of the things that um, in order for you to be an effective leader, you have to be relational, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, you also have to be visionary, mm -hmm. right? So in order to have any plan, any business, you have to be organized mm -hmm. personally. I'm a very organized individual. That's how I work best. Mm -hmm. So even with Nehemiah, he was an organized leader. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he was an effective leader. Yeah. I realized he was also very relational mm -hmm. because you have to be able to communicate with people mm -hmm. to and get that, the work that, done. That's right. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you can't just say, this is who I am and this is how it goes. You have to be relational. You also have to be very... Um, you have to have communication skills. Yeah. Be effective in your communication. Yeah. Because you can talk, but if you're not effective in your communication, others won't understand what you want to That's do. That's right. That's yeah. right. Again, as I go back to Habakkuk, write it out. If you can't even speak it, write it out mm -hmm. and let people understand what your heart is. Yeah. God told us to write the vision, vision. Yeah. right? That's and make right. it plain. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because in order to get the vision to come to pass, yeah. you have to have others to understand yeah. your vision. Mm -hmm. You have to be organizing your thoughts, first of all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your thoughts have to be organized. You have to be laser focused mm -hmm. in order to have anything come into fruition. That's right. So being an effective leader takes organization skills take a, a relational skills communication skills mm -hmm. and it takes just you understanding even the vision that God has given you yeah. for you to I mean to give the vision to others to have it come to pass because mm -hmm. one of the things we see in this in this chapter um, Nehemiah didn't just send people out mm -hmm. randomly to build he just say here's some stones go out and build That's right, right? He we evolved. see there, there, there was a plan That's right. uh, we see uh, a plan was in place mm -hmm. his plan was very detailed mm -hmm. the people mentioned in this chapter were likely the leaders of their sector and may have had more helpers. So we see mm -hmm. plan. Each person was responsible to make sure their sector was done and done well. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about the organizational skill, it's knowing uh, where to place people. people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not every, you know, there are some folks who like to work in some areas, but you know what? That's probably not the best place for mm -hmm. you to work. Right. And their time, um, leaders have to know when to make some shift mm -hmm. to move some people around and to. Um, um, to, right. in other words, can mm -hmm. get done properly. Yeah, and I'm thinking about yes, it. As if we want to have good success, mm -hmm. right? If you want to have success, you want to have good success yeah. as a ministry, as a church, mm -hmm. in your personal lives, whatever, you must have a plan. Yeah. You must have a plan. Yeah. You have to have a plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's one said. Yeah. If we fail to plan, mm -hmm. we plan to fail. We plan, we plan to, to fail. fail. That's right. mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the things also we noticed with Nehemiah was um, how he wisely used delegated authority. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, I said to somebody recently, if you do not um, give good um, understanding to a leader, you release him for ministry. Mm -hmm. So the extent of the authority, you will set yourself up for for, yes. for chaos, mm -hmm. you know, so delegate the authority because mm -hmm. he right. could not be everywhere at that's the right. same time. Mm -hmm. So he had to know how to go about delegating mm -hmm. authority, that's right. knowing yes. how and when to assign the task yes. to the right people mm -hmm. exactly. and knowing how to follow up, mm -hmm. yes. you know. Yes. So talk a little about delegated authority. Delegated authority. For me, I, I would believe you have to have a spirit of discernment. Yeah. You have to recognize mm -hmm. the individual that you're giving the assignment to yeah. and to give them authority because again we don't want leaders to have a big head mm -hmm. and to become heavy-handed to right. say i am the leader you do this That's That's right. you understand their their presence their personality yeah. their character mm -hmm. you have to understand the person that you're working with and who say for instance they're going to be working with other people yeah. there's some yeah. so you understand who are those people he's going to work with? Yeah. If it's someone who's going to cause offense to the group, you don't want that person in leadership, yeah. right? Yeah. If someone who's going to think that they're high and mighty, you don't want that individual in, in mm. leadership because the work has to be done. And at the end of the day, you want to make sure that it's done with a pure heart, mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's done for the purpose, which is to fulfill God's vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you see, that's a joy of who God is. God mm -hmm. is able to to take, as we see in this passage here, He took um, 
men, women, spiritual mm -hmm. leaders, mm -hmm. laymen, white collar, mm -hmm. blue collar workers, talented, unskilled mm -hmm. workers, mm -hmm. old, young, mm -hmm. all working together mm -hmm. to build this wall in 52 days. Wow. That's the God whom we serve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's, he, and there's the, this is a great example of teamwork. Yeah. I remember some years ago when we were, we were pulling through yeah. to prepare for, for building our mm -hmm. sanctuary, we had this, this so mantra, mm -hmm. teamwork Makes, makes the, the dream, dream work, work. Yeah. Yeah. you know so when we pull together we begin to use um teamwork we can mm -hmm. see god mm -hmm. use uh, mm -hmm. things in, in other words mm -hmm. what we see nehemiah working together i mean they each they were not necessarily doing the, each doing the same, same thing, thing. Mm -hmm. within the task of building the wall there would be many different tasks mm -hmm. some tasks would include carrying stones mm -hmm. cooking cutting wood or stones mm -hmm. making mortar architectural design, mm -hmm. gate builders, people watch over the beast of burden, mm -hmm. you know, etc. So everybody were involved doing something, mm, right. doing something. In other words, every one of you, those of you in, in the Zoom room tonight, I want you to know that every one of you tonight can do something. Mm -hmm. yes. You can do something. Being, being a team doesn't mean every person does the same thing at the same time and place. Mm -hmm. It means that each member of the team working together for a common goal. Right. Yes. It is the work of rebuild, repair, and rebrand. Mm -hmm. Each one of us tonight, we can do something. And, right. and there is a, also a place of supporting and encouraging each other. Mm -hmm. yes. how, how important is this aspect of yes. rebuilding? Oh, absolutely. Um, when you look at it, um, <laughs> just taking for example there with so many different groups of people yeah. with a number of different groups of people that mm -hmm. were rebuilding the wall mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and but yet they come together in unity yeah. mm -hmm. and that's what it is so important that we understand that when we come together that unity yeah. is strength yeah. yes. you that's know what right. i mean yeah. It was imperative that they all learn to work together. Mm -hmm. And even in the season for us uh, as progress family or as the body or the kingdom of God, we yeah. have to learn to work together, together. Yeah. in unity, unity. right? Mm -hmm. They work along the same with the same mind, yeah. right? Same mindset, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which was to fortify Jerusalem. That's right. right? That's right. And as we understand that we are working with the same mindset, which is to build and to advance the kingdom, kingdom. of God, mm -hmm. that we learn to come along to each other, we encourage mm -hmm. each other we be supportive of each mm -hmm. other yeah. you know sometimes we learn that we can say well I'm doing this but I'm only doing this but I'm not supporting anybody else yes. in whatever they are mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. we need to kill that spirit yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ yes. right yes. we yeah. need to put that spirit behind us and that we learn and we come yeah. together and we work mm -hmm. together in unity, unity. Yes. right yes. and you know what I mean in the same way as we look at we learn when they were building the wall the same way as we come together a progress church as a family we come to understand that god work this yeah. is all about god yes yeah. it's all about, about advancing his kingdom when we understand that we are called for this purpose into his kingdom and we understand mm -hmm. what we are called to do it's time for us to repair the dung gate in our lives. Yeah. Sometimes we need to repair, we need to throw out that mm -hmm. trash. Yeah, because some right. of us, we allowed, we are carrying around too much garbage yeah. for too long. So we too need long. to re yeah. repair yeah. the dung gate. Get rid of the trash in our lives. Yes. 2022, yeah. it's a different year. Yeah. Make it a new you yeah. for the kingdom of Amen. God Amen. in 2022. 22. Find some place along the rebuilding process where to serve God. Yeah. Yes. Some That's place good. along where the wall is rebuilding. Find a place, Find a place yeah. where you can serve God and to advance exactly. His yes. yes. Amen. 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 We are all on the same team. We are. Mm -hmm. And we have one goal, yeah. That's right. which is to advance the kingdom mm -hmm. of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so important that even though we have different gifts and skills, and talent, but we have one vision, yeah. which is to advance the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And we have to continue to just work alongside each other mm -hmm. because it's all about him. It's not about us. Mm -hmm. So I thank God that he's given us this vision yeah. in this season mm -hmm. to repair. We've got to repair our spiritual lives. We've yes. got to rebuild our spiritual life. Yes. And right. we have to rebrand. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because it's all about God. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, not man. about right. us. Praise we thank God, God for that vision. We mm -hmm. thank God it's going to come to pass in yes. 2022. Yes. Amen. 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 Folks, I want to encourage us tonight to let us, each one of you know that we all have something that we can do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
let us do it mm -hmm. with all of our might. John Piper says this concerning work. He said, I don't want to be a comfort driven, mm -hmm. pleasure seeking, entertainment addicted Christian. Let us work. We, just, we, don't, we are not just in, into this thing for comfort, mm -hmm. pleasure, mm -hmm. or somebody to entertain us. Mm -hmm. No, we want to do the work of the Lord. And we may face opposition, my friends, sometimes opposition within and without, but we must not give up. Instead, we must zealously do the work that God has prepared for us. Mm -hmm. It seems many people in the world today are allergic to work. Just a little exertion will tire them out. Mm -hmm. They think they need a lot of sleep and a lot of rest. A cold will sideline them for weeks. Mm -hmm. We should not be like this. Work is good. God's original plan includes the work for Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Both physical work and spiritual labor for God are good and important. Yeah. God even designed our conscience to understand this. Mm -hmm. You see, when we accomplish things, we feel good, we feel great. There's a great sense of accomplishment. We know that we have not wasted our time away. The Bible tells us in Nehemiah that the people rise up and build. Mm -hmm. God wants us to arise. Mm -hmm. He does. He Talk a little about arise the Arise in this season. Yeah. Shake off the past mm -hmm. and look forward to yeah. what he has in store for us. Mm -hmm. Arise with energy like Barak. And yeah. Arise with enthusiasm. Yeah. Arise with that motivation that God has inside of you. Sometimes we've been so dormant, but this is the season that God has called us to arise and repair and rebuild because he is here with us and he wants to see better for us. Mm -hmm. So we have to move forward and not look backwards and arise and do what God has called us to do in this Amen. time. Praise God. God wants us to rise. Talk to, talk to the congregation as to the importance for us arising in this season. Oh, absolutely. Um, it is so easy for us to get in a place of complacency, mm -hmm. um, just to sit back and maybe you know allow maybe Everybody some else. dust to come on us, whatever it is. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's time for us to rise, rise up, up and shake off <laughs> in 2022. Yeah. And I'm saying to you, the Progress Church at home, in this season of you know repairing, rebuilding, and rebranding, it takes work. Mm -hmm. yeah. It takes work and it takes us coming together mm -hmm. in unity and in strength to advance the yes. work of God and yeah. to build his kingdom. We noticed that, you know, that, uh, the, in, in the Maya days, they were building the wall for mm -hmm. the defense of Jerusalem. And this season we are advancing, we are building because you know what, we want lost souls to enter into the kingdom of Almighty God. That's we are right. building the sheep gate yeah. to bring in those lost That's ones right. to come into the, yes. into the kingdom yes. of God, Amen. right? So in this season, as we rebuilt, you know what I mean? Mm. We are praying and we are seeking God's will and we're doing, but we also have to, on one, we are praying, we're, yeah. but the other, other one, we have to physically get up and That's do right. the, work. the work. We yeah. cannot sit back and relax, yes, right? Yes. So in this season as 2022, it requires all of us, yeah. everyone, yeah. Yes. find, as I said before, find a place along in the rebuilding process yes. that you can get involved in. You That's know what right. I mean? That's the right. ministry requires every member, mm -hmm. all of us effort yes. in order for the body to function, you know, effectively. Mm -hmm. And when us as believers, mm -hmm. when we come together in one accord, yes. we all have our different mm -hmm. giftings, what God has, you know, gift us to do differently. But when we all come together in one accord, mm -hmm. you know, serving, you know, in our, in our each offering, our distinctive yes. gifts, That's you know right. what I mean? Right. The work of God gets done in a Praise glorious God. way. Amen. Amen. I believe and I want to see the glorious way of God being done in <laughs> yes. this house. So I, let's rise up progress. Amen. 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 I believe Amen. there's a shift. Yeah. At this time, yes. God is shifting us. Yes. And mm -hmm. even if you think you're not qualified to do, do the work, God will qualify That's you. Right. Yeah. Just be ready and available, yeah. and He will use you. Amen. So God is Praise here to, to use us in this time. Amen. Yes. You yeah, so just in Nehemiah time, as he, he laid out the work and set the vision, and he mm -hmm. knew he needed people mm -hmm. to build a sheep gate, the mm -hmm. fish gate the old gate, the valley gate, gate. the refuse gate, mm -hmm. and then we see they build the fountain gate, the water gate, the house gate, the east mm -hmm. gate, whatever work you find your hand to do today, do yes. it with all yes. of your might. Mm -hmm. 
God needs you to do the work, my friend. Amen. He wants you to do the work. He's calling you to be involved in doing the work of ministry. Yes. Now is not the time to stand on the sideline, but say to them, pastors, leaders, what can I do? Yes. Where can I serve? Mm -hmm. And my friends, don't stand on the sideline because the work needs you to get done. Mm -hmm. We want you to know tonight we, we love you and mm -hmm. we believe that you are valuable yes. to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. May God use you mightily in 2022 mm -hmm. to advance the kingdom mm -hmm. of God. Amen? Amen. Any final thoughts? I just want to leave with you today that to accomplish God's purpose, we need a common vision dedicated leaders and willing workers to do their part. We can't work together if everyone has a different notion of what you're trying to do. We have to come together in this season to repair, rebuild, and rebrand because God is waiting for us to move Amen. into that position. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Common vision. Common vision. Dedicate leaders and Dedicated workers. Dedicated and willing workers. And willing yes. workers to, to do, do Amen. their part. Amen. Everyone has a part to play. There's two apart. Any mm -hmm. final thought? Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's just resonating along there um, as well that we can learn so much yeah. from this. And this is what the Word of God is there for us, children of God, people of God, people of progress, is for us to learn Amen. from what has happened to the, you know, the church of yes. the, uh, you know, in the Bible days. And we are learning from them. We are mm -hmm. implementing, yeah. right? So in the same way that we see when they come together and they did the work of, all, of, the God, of, the, of Almighty God in fortifying the city, we are ex um, advancing the kingdom of God. Yes. So let us have that as a mindset, that common mm -hmm. vision, mm -hmm. that common goal that says, what can we do in 2022 yeah. to advance the kingdom, kingdom of Almighty God? God. Amen. We can all do that. Amen. And pray and listen to me. Pray that God, if you don't know what to do, mm -hmm. pray that God will just pray and ask God to show you. Yeah. yeah. And he will reveal himself to you. So I'm praying that God will stir up our hearts as we listen to, you know, to the, to the message that has been preached mm -hmm. from the pulpit, from the Bible um, study platform, that our hearts will be touched mm -hmm. and will be stirred to do the work of God. Amen. Just be available. Mm -hmm. Praise God. God bless you folks. Come on into the Zoom room for a time of question mm -hmm. and answer and sharpening. We just want you to know that in this season, put your hands to the plow. No looking back. Mm -hmm. We love you. God bless you. God bless Have a wonderful you. evening. See you in the Zoom room. God bless you Amen. all. Amen. God bless you all. Amen.